Hi everyone, welcome back to Find the Imagined and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add sounds to different functions in code.org. So let's get started. So if you're making a sound app, this video is just for you. But you can use sounds on any app that you want in code.org. This is a dashboard, so if you're in somewhere else, just go ahead and click on my dashboard and it should get you here. Scroll down to where it says start a new project and click on App Lab. This will open a new App Lab project. I'm going to name this, click on rename and name your project. I'm going to name this project Sounds. Feel free to name your own project or follow along with me and name your Sounds too. Now let's go to Design and name our screen as I'm going to name it Sound Chooser because this is where the button will be clicked. Choose the sounds in my app. So let's quickly get that done. It, the app lab will open as code. To do that, please go to design and name it here. Drag out a button. Name this button. I'm going to keep my button as button one. Change the text color to text and change this. I'm going to call this cat because this button is going to play a cat noise. Okay, now to add the noise, well, as you can see, if you even, even try to run the program, nothing will happen to this button because we have not coded anything yet. So now what we have to do, ah, okay, go back to the code, drag out the on event block right here. I show my blocks first. On event, put in the ID of the event, which for me, the button, code button one. Button, button one. And this is like when button one is what? For me, I'm button when button one is clicked. You can have click, change, key up, key down, key press, mouse move, mouse down, mouse up, so many options to explore. But I'm gonna Go with the click on event button when it's clicked. Now, what do you want this button to do? Today, I'm going to teach you how to make sounds. So this has to make sound. Scroll down over here and found the set sound or play sound. Drag out play sound. Click on the drop down menu and click choose. Go ahead and choose one of these or search for sound. I'm going to search cat and let's play it. And that's a perfect cat sound for me. Okay, let's, and if that happens, don't worry. Just click on the top button to choose, search up what to want, cat, choose this, and choose. Three. Now let's find barn and click on cat. The cat noise comes. Feel free to add so many more buttons to this, and you can also add um, some pictures which will make sounds too. I'm going to teach you also in this video how to make a picture a button. So to make a picture a button what you have to do is go to code. Well first you delete this button. Uh, okay code. Let's go sound chooser. And what you want to do to make a picture a sound go design. Hit this button, you delete this button. Do not press this or you're gonna delete the whole screen, which you do not want. And this code is gonna give you a hard time. We're gonna change the yeah, later. We're gonna change it later. So go to code, then this time instead of dragging out the button, we're gonna add, drag out the image. Let's make this big so the image turns out big, you know? So let's drag this out. Okay, great. Now, now I'm just going to leave it as image one. Let's actually upload an image. So I'm going to choose icon. So I'm just going to choose an image from the code.org, which I'm just going to choose a camera, a nice camera, and icon color. Let's, add, let's make this. I'm going to make it blue. If you have an image that you would like to put in your app from your computer, please feel free to download it. 
and upload it into your app. You can add your own touches with AppLab. Okay, so once you got your image in, you're gonna go, huh, if that, don't worry, there's, you'll find this little arrow which you can easily change the size of your images at any time. Go to events, then go to insert and show code. Now, on event image one clicked, then what, this is basically what you want your program to do when image one is clicked. So we're gonna delete this console log thing because we want our image to play a sound. So again, let's get our play sound out there. And you can delete this other on event thing because we don't really need that now because we don't have that cat button anymore. So let's choose, and this is gonna be a camera sound, but depending on what you're programming, Depending on what you're programming, your sounds can be totally unique. Okay, so let's click on the drop down menu, choose, and if you know the name of your sound, feel free to click it. So I'm gonna search your camera. Okay. Let's play. So that's kind of good. And you can test out each sound. So I'm gonna use this sound. You can choose any sound. So then click choose. And now let's run. And when I click this, a sound came. And if it says sound default MP3, that means your sound has not changed. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna put our sound in again because it didn't save our sound. Huh. So explore the world of sounds on code.org. And also a good way to make app fun is using sounds. So again, let me just go ahead, choose my sound. I chose this one. To play the sound, click on this and I'll play it. So I really like that sound, so I'm just gonna Choose that sound. Click on the choose. And now it's gonna work. So let's run it. Wanna click on the camera? That'll come. So have fun with your sounds in code.org. This is how you make a picture of sound. You can also just leave it as a button. So this is how you make sounds in code.org. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I also do many other code.org tutorials, including an introduction to basic app lab and how to make parts in app lab. So please check those out. For now, it's 